students we have created the screen one right we have created the square screen like we have created circle screen like this this is my triangle screen and this is my rectangle screen now I want to code for this so I'm going for the block programming part first of all I'll select the screen one the programming on which screen you are doing you have to select that screen and then you have to go to the block part if you want to code for screen one select this particular screen from this list I'm going to code for screen one and then select block part so now what is the logic for this application for this screen when someone select square or circle or triangle or rectangle image then a new page should open then the new screen should be open so I am going to the block programming part and here I am having few images square image circle triangle and rectangle so when someone select the square image I'll go on the top and here is this button when someone click the square image fine this image is clicked then what should be done another open another screen you have to open another screen so press on the control part and go to the down here you will find the screen option open another screen with start value screen name fine and the start value this this is this is the screen open another screen screen name you have to only open the another screen when square image is clicked you have to open a new screen which is known as square screen fine here is the square screen you have to open the square screen so select the text part and have this control here you can have the name as square you have to type exact name of your screen fine so here we are having square screen I'm duplicating it I'm having it here select the another screen from here suppose you are going to select the circle image here you have to put square screen circle screen so change the name of the screen circle screen fine duplicate it select another screen we are having triangle and then have the name of triangle screen so uh, here circle screen name is small s you have to be very clear with the exact names right triangle triangle screen screen is screen s is small so take as triangle screen and then again at last I'm duplicating it and I'm, I'm going to select the last screen as a rectangle and here I'm going with rectangle screen rectangle screen is S is big so here I will have S capital and here I'll type the rectangle screen so this is the coding for my first screen when we are clicking the particular you know uh, image then that screen should be open so this is the coding for screen one now i will code for screen two that is square screen so this is the block programming part here I am having few of the options. I am having square screen, vertical arrangement, one button, one image, two labels and text to speech component. So I will select the square screen. 
and when this screen should be initialized so when you appear on this screen when square screen is initialized i have to call text to speech component this component should be called and what i have to give the message here select text have a simple and here i'll give the message to the user this is a square fine so here i'm going to give that this is a square when image one when this image is clicked fine same message should be given to the user that this is a square and when button one that is home button when this home button is clicked fine i have to open the screen again for opening the screen again i'll go to the control path and there i am having the open another screen name here i'm going to have the screen name as i'll select the text button and here i'm going to have screen 1 fine put screen 1 so this will be repeated for all the screens for circle screen when circle screen is selected when this screen is initialized i have to call okay for this screen i have not included the text to speech component so for that i have to go to the media part and i have to have text to speech component put it here similarly i think i have not done in the triangle screen also here i am going to have the text to speech component and the last is the rectangle screen here also i am going to have the media component of text to speech component yes now all the screens are having the text to speech component go to the blocking part and have the control for that oh uh, you have to take the speech component call this and you have to speak one message this is a circle or hey it is a circle fine when image is clicked you have to call again uh this component and here i can have a message as you clicked a circle fine and the last is the button part if you click the button 1 which is a home button fine you have to go to the control part and here you have to select for another screen option and in the text option select the screen uh, simple loop and here give the message as screen 1 so this is the second circle screen same we have to do for the other screens in the next video we will be going to test our application stay tuned so now we are going to test our application we have created the five screens as well as the code we have coded for the all five screens for connecting this i'll select the ai companion and this is the code and now i will type the code on my mobile phone so the code is x k y z i b i'll connect with the code it is saying the 15% or the 20% and now the application appeared on my phone now if i select the circle hey it is a circle see 
on the initialization of the screen it will say hey it is a circle and if i select the image you click the circle it will say you click the circle and you can read the definition and if i select the home button it will get, go to this screen back to my home screen again if i select the triangle this is a triangle if i select this you click the triangle you click the triangle and when i select the home button i will be at my home so in this way we have worked on the multi screens and we have added five screens and we have coded for the five screens i just hope this particular application is clear to all and you will create the same application thank you